Welcome back guys. Today we are going to see AutoCAD. I am using AutoCAD 2014 version. So we just see about the AutoCAD basis. The very first command after opening the AutoCAD make it is uh, in classical mode. It will be useful. Just first command is units. Check whether it is in millimeters and our all other uh, settings are same as, as it is. Then type limits 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 which will specify the upper and right corner of the our sheet so first it's ask the enter the top right upper corner which is sorry lower left corner which is 0 comma 0 and right corner is the sheet size whatever sheet size you want you give I'm just giving as it is 420 comma 297. There is a command. The first command is line L enter, which will use to, to draw your lines. Uh, whatever the diagram you line diagram you want, you can draw it in the lines. Just first it is ask the specify the first point and specify the next point you also can give the dimension from the keyboard there is a button the option called ortho which is enables to draw a line in straight which means in 90 or 0 or 180 modes it will be right which is called ortho the button will be available in the icon will be available in down or else you can use the key f8 F8 is universal key, you can use that in any versions of the AutoCAD. You can turn off the ortho mode whenever you want to draw a slanted lines. There is a settings for the snaps, grid and other things. Let's see the basic settings. First go to the snap and grid settings. Just turn off all these snaps and grids then let's see what is it is there is no snap and uh, there is no grid the grid is visible right uh, what is the snap means the points between the distance uh, snap between the one point to another point uh, let me show you an example I'm just enabling the snaps and grid now you can see that a uh, small box is right just taking line command I able to draw a line between the the end point of these small boxes only. I can draw anywhere in between the boxes which is called snaps. Okay. Then if I just disable the snaps I can able to draw in between the small boxes so you can see right right okay very simple then next settings draft settings for draft setting command ds center the next is polar tracking what is polar tracking on and off which means I just show you what is polar tracking first I, I just draw a line there is a no uh, sign of any tracking or something anything there right just uh, drawing something if you just on the polar tracking there will be a green green dotted trace lines I also it will be incremented from 90 to 90 90 80 180 0 something if you just want I can uh, add the additional angles also I'm just adding a uh, two additional angles here now I'm just drawing a line let's see what's happen if you just draw a line you see right I'm um, just not the green track the line in the additional angle also the the angles okay next the object and object snap what is the object select and object snap tracks if we just draw a line line or something whatever the thing 
there will be end point midpoint intersection point the green color mark will be shown there right the track you see right that is called the object select if you just disable both that means there will be no points of intersection end points midpoint anything will be shown also there is a no tracking for the object snap uh, sorry object tracking which means i am just able to draw from the midpoint of the something i draw and to another you will just see this right it's very simple for uh, drawing tracking is used to mid to mid or end to end anything you can track it the green tracked line when you open the autocad uh, the symbols are not visible in your autocad means you can just go to the draft settings and check it again i'm just saying for draft setting the command is ds enter this all the normal settings the pointer and the cursor settings leave it as as it is and if you want the uh, dimension window to be extend you can use this command thank you this is all the basic settings of the autocad we can uh, briefly see the lessons of the autocad in later sections please subscribe if you have any doubts please comment in your comment section also if you'll just like the video just like it and share it with your friends thank you we see you in our next classes thank you